What's up, everybody? A little while back, I met up with some badass Aussie subscribers. These crazy-ass mofos wanted to gallivant around Akihabara, and I thought that was a good idea. In fact, I thought it was a real good idea. So we cruised on over to some local shops and started checking out the Gachapone. It didn't take us long to realize these collections were fucking incredible. Case in point, take a look at this garbage. It's basically just garbage cans and trash bags, and that's a pretty interesting collection if you ask me. So what else we got here? We got some sumo warriors. There's the ballistic missile sumo warrior, the bazooka sumo warrior, the samurai sumo warrior, and what the... I think that's an all-terrain sumo warrior, so let's check out the top over here. This is not Japan. I'm pretty sure this actually is Japan, so I'm not sure what that signage is all about. I think they're trying to pull a fast one on us. Nevertheless, I figured I'd give this collection a whirl. All right, baby, let's do this. I mean, they did pretty much lie to our faces with that whole this is not Japan thing, but you know, I kind of wanted to get a sumo warrior. It's almost like they know they can just flat out insult my intelligence on the packaging and I'll still end up buying one in the end. I'm part of the problem, baby. Anyway, I liberated that gacha pwn and it seemed to me like I got the samurai sumo. And wow, just fucking wow, take a look at that dual-wielding samurai sumo. Pretty much serves zero purpose whatsoever, but I can't help but feel happy about my purchase. I mean, just look at that thing. It's got two swords, it's got a loincloth, and it's got some sweet-ass motherfucking hair action. Seems like money well spent to me. Seems like money real well fucking spent. So my man Jacob decided to get a piece of this action, and you could see the fire in his eyes as he savagely turned that dial. Basically, Jacob wanted to improve his life one inanimate piece of plastic at a time. He wanted to see the gachapone, be the gachapone, and he wanted to believe in the gachapone. So he got himself a sashimi rice bowl keychain, and it was looking pretty decent. So next up, we spotted a game box gacha pwn. I'm not sure what the master plan is with these things, but it seems like a mini Game Boy-esque keychain. Whatever that thing is, as soon as Wayne saw, he started going hog wild on that puppy. He was shoving in coins and turning knobs like his very life depended on it. Key takeaway, nice fucking purchase right there. So what else we got here? Ryan made a purchase when I wasn't looking. Little thing I like to call a mini burlap bag. Oh, this doesn't cut. It, where do I get the leaves to put it in? <laughs> they sold a bag with a leaf on it, but there's no leaves inside. What is this? Some kind of joke? Maybe Ryan will have better luck with his next purchase. Little thing I like to call the wheelbarrow. Oh, I right, see. So put it together. Whoa, 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 hold the phone. Ryan just paid the big bucks, now he has to assemble this gacha pwn himself? Seems to me like these gacha pwn staff members are living life on easy street. Nevertheless, despite that self-assembly, or perhaps because of it, you must admit the finished product is quite nice. That's basically a sweet fucking wheelbarrow right there, in case you haven't noticed. Next up, Josh is digging into an unmotivated animal capsule with some raw, unbridled enthusiasm. He got himself an anatomically correct, demotivated lion up in this mother. That's a pretty buck-wild big cat right there, but right about now, we felt like we needed to broaden our horizons. So we went strolling and patrolling around to a little place I like to call the Don Quixote. They had an arcade on the top floor, which wasn't half bad. It was filled with your usual assortment of insomnia-inducing arcade games and borderline rigged crane games. Now, I don't exactly know why, but Ryan was hell-bent on getting himself one of these crazy-ass masks. <laughs> now, I'm more of a gacha pwn man myself, but I can appreciate someone spending inordinate amounts of coinage on a fucking head as well. Oh! 
That's right, baby, take a good look at that head. I mean, I didn't show all the attempts in this video, but suffice to say, there were a lot. Nevertheless, Ryan overcame the odds and won that head, and if that ain't inspirational as fuck, then I don't know what is. Now, aside from that arcade action, Don Quixote had the usual selection of crazy-ass products. They had some fish slipper action, which is always a fan favorite. After all, there's nothing more satisfying than shoving your toes through some fake fish heads, that's what I always say. And of course, aside from having a wide selection of party masks, they also have a wide selection of dick puppets. Here we get a primo quality dick puppet, which seems to be a sword coming from this guy's crotch. Man, oh man, is this guy living the life. I wonder what you have to do to become a dick puppet model like this guy is. I feel like the fact that I'm not a dick puppet model by now just goes to show that I've made some poor career choices in life. I always felt like I was just one networking opportunity away from making it big time in the dick puppet modeling world. I mean, if I played my cards right, I could have been this guy, but instead I'm just left to wonder. Is that a goose in your pants, or are you just happy to see me? Anyway, you get the drill. Overall, it was a life-changing meetup and an experience that we won't soon forget. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see some more Gachapone action, then you best be checking out the new channel I made together with Brian from Ramen Adventures. We made a collaborative channel called Gachapone Zone, and I got that link down below in the description box. And as always, thanks for watching this video, everybody. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.